I think he's a good dad. Look, he he loves his daughter to, to death, but he's he's like everyone else. You know, he's vulnerable, and and I think his his blind side here is his his own kind of uh, need for for love himself, um, and that that's what kind of like yeah it, it ends up it, it does end up being a bit of a blind spot for him when when he when he meets some um, Sylvia's character. So yeah, Nina gets the better of him and and. Um, allows things to happen. Maybe a little bit. I think at a certain point, the eyebrows should have been raised, but in the beginning, I think that's kind of like the dream scenario, at least for a young girl to meet a boy in such an everyday situation. That's kind of what you see play out in every romantic comedy. So you can understand why something like that would happen and it would feel like, oh my God, I'm like the luckiest person ever. It's like my first, I'm just now getting to Berlin and I meet this cute guy on the train. Um, it's already like a movie or something like that. So yeah, I think at a certain point you start to ask more questions, but in the beginning, I think it's just, I think anyone would be kind of thrilled for that. I mean, it's a case by case situation, but I think what I learned from my research for this is that it really can be anyone. You kind of have this idea when you think of cults and the people that become involved in them that they're super naive and vulnerable. And while that could be true, I think it it could happen to just anyone, depending on what you're getting into. Um, for something like this, it was promoted as this kind of mission to help the planet and that we were all doing something really really good and it, and it looked like it too so i think it's easier than people would think and maybe when it takes that dark turn it, it happens so suddenly that you can't even suspect something at first um but it you know it just it does depend on the case yeah and i think so i think some with you know so much kind of hardwired into into the the structures of of a, of a cult in terms of we just we do respond to a hierarchy and a structure as human beings we like we like a sense of order even if you're a person who who has rejected society's structure and then suddenly found themselves in an in a in a, in a cult like it is it, it does seem to be some consistencies there and the, and that the 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 requirement that we have as human beings to just be part of something be part of something bigger than us or be or to feel loved to feel wanted and validated which these cults can can do very very well Oof. I mean, you saw how it ended in season four, so I, I cannot answer that. Um, but it would be a miracle if she did. So, and miracles have happened on the show. So I guess we'll have to see. 